the frames we want to do something with its columns and now i would like to show you ways to reference the columns of a data frame so if we wanted to work with the column close price we can say df dot close or we can say by simply using the dot annotation so we basically referencing the dot close column in the data frame df the second way would be to use this bracket annotation just as if data frame would be an array of arrays and on the first dimension we wanted to use the date or no the close the close column so that would be the second option to reference a column and the third option is to use a function which is called call for column and in here we can pass in a string as well and this will simply be a quite generic reference for a column um, without being bound to a specific data frame but spark will try to resolve this um, close column here simply by looking at the data frame on which we use this column so now it's still highlighted as an error because that's because we need to import this column function here and this we do by saying from pyspark.sql import and then functions which is an object and from the functions we want to import all of them so in, in within the functions functions there is a function called call and probably we have to specify this here so this would be the right way to import this one from pyspark.sql.functions which is the um, object which is specified in pyspark there is a column a, a function called cal and this we are importing here and this will reference a column now here we have three column references we can even store them in a variable so we say column one is this one column two is this one and column three is this one so now we are referencing columns and storing the, these references in variables now to use these column references we can say df and then for example select which is very similar then which is the same as a sql select and here it already is the um, ide already tells us <coughs> we can either put in a list of columns so column references or strings and that's what we're going to use so here we use for example column one column one column two and column three to uh, select these three columns from the df and you might think okay now we are selecting three times the close column but it's there only once but that's not a problem <clears throat> we can select the very same column multiple times so the result would simply be a data frame containing the or consisting of the closing price column three times hey and sorry for interrupting your learning if you would like to become a pro level spark engineer within a short period of time i would like to point you to my individual coaching program which you can find in my academy now i will work with you over the course of 12 weeks as if we were colleagues in a professional working setup meaning we will have weekly sessions and in between i will ask you to complete assignments and we are going to do code reviews together also, you will get access to all of the video courses that exist in my academy and you can ask me any question you have about Apache Spark. Within this 12 weeks, I will teach you everything I know about Apache Spark from 10 years of experience as a freelance data engineer. In this academy, you can also find many video courses, for example, on PySpark and Spark with Scala, also an in-depth course on understanding Spark internals. All right, let's waste no time and continue on the course. And if I execute this code now, we can see the result being three times the column of the close price. So here's the result. And we can see we have three times the close, close column, which um, three times has the same values. Now that's the first way to reference columns. The second way usually is also that we can reference columns by simply using their name. So we for this select 
method here, we can as well pass in a list of strings. Um, so here it says the cults are e either a string or of the class column. So both are fine. So let's use the um, simple string annotation here. So we simply say uh, close, open, and high for uh, let's say date, close and open, select these three by using strings and print with the dot show method. And we can see that we can simply can select columns by using their names as string as well using the select method defined on data frames. So here we go, the first result is simply still the three closed columns. And then we have a second result, which is the date, close and open columns.